This is Peter J. Pollock, MD, with Ocala Eye, with some more of your LASIK questions. Question today is, how are patients held still during LASIK and cataract surgeries? In the case of LASIK, the lasers used have eye tracking devices which move with the slight movements that normally occur with the eye. If the eyes move too much, however, the software will detect the excessive movement and shut off the treatment until the patient recenters their gaze. So small amounts of movement are covered, but larger movements result in the treatment stopping. So in neither case is it a problem. Also, the amount of tissue being removed with each pulse of the laser is measured in microns, so it's unlikely with today's lasers for there to be a significant problem due to eye movement. In the case of cataract surgery, typically the head is taped into position. Most patients receive a small amount of sedation, which can cause them to doze off occasionally, so the tape is a reminder to the patient to keep still. Once the surgery has begun, the surgeon has two instruments inside the eye through small incisions, so the eye can actually be manipulated even if the patient tries to move the eye a little bit. Patients who cannot be cooperative, however, due to dementia, very hard of hearing, or in the case of small children, they'll often receive an anesthetic injection that blocks the eye muscles and prevents the eye from moving at all, or, less often, undergo general anesthesia. The surgeon will usually determine the level of cooperation prior to surgery by evaluating the patient. If the patient cannot remain still enough for the surgery, it might have to be canceled. For more information, visit ocalaeye.com forward slash peter dash pollock dash md or give us a call at 352-290-8374.